Hey everyone, welcome to RPG DIY, your channel for all things tabletop gaming. Today we're going to take a look at the flat pack minis from 1985 games. They are acrylic two dimensional minis. We have an undead pack and the orc pack. And we're going to take a look at how you can use them on your table, and I'll let you know how I like them or not. Let's take a look. Okay, here's the packs. We're going to start with the uh, with the undead, and here's the back. So you get five skeletons, four zombies, two of the can't read it upside down death knights, and two nightmares and a lich. And then you also get uh, the bases to go with them. So let's take a look at these. All right, so <clears throat> give an example of some of the artwork. Let's see here. And it's double sided. Here's an example of uh, a skeleton. Now, uh, their artwork for their flat 2D pieces, like for their Dungeon Crap line, look very similar to this. They have kind of almost a three-quarter top-down view, as opposed to totally top-down or straight on. So it looks like they kind of went with that with this. Um, here's what the uh, other larger pieces go. Here's some nightmares. Um, more skeleton varieties. And uh, they have bases. That they have a little slot. You just slot it into the base. And they stand up, just like that. So... Now these come, they have a, one side of both the bases and the figures themselves have like a, a sheet of protective vinyl on one side that you have to peel off first. And so they fit very tight in their bases so they don't come loose. All right. So here's an example. This is the from the Castles and Keeps uh, 1985 game set. So there you go. Which you can also do because they have the uh, kind of three quarter top down view on these, uh, much like their cutout. That they're printed on the same kind of cardstock, front and back, as this is. Uh, you can just use them as a 2D, 2D thing as well, and just lay them flat like that, if you prefer. So there you go. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the orc set. All right, so you get a little more than just orcs. For instance, here's a here's an ogre. And you get a couple different variations of that. Here's another one. 
And here's an example of uh, an orc. And another one. So when you set these up, now, even though they have the three-quarter view, they're the correct size as far as height-wise for uh, 3D minis or other uh, brands of 2D minis. So they actually have been sized up to be the correct size for your regular type of mini. So. And so we'll go ahead and put them on this tower again. And as you can see, they also, the bases show the, the amount of room they take up. So for the ogre, he has a 10 foot reach. So the base is not, it's not quite the 10 foot mark on here, but it's enough to show that he has a greater reach than this guy here. And once again, you can also use them flat if you prefer. Because they also do the take up the one inch space there. And this guy takes up roughly 10, 10 feet worth of squares here. There you go. I really like these. I like 2D minis in general just for the portability. And uh, these are extremely sturdy. And from what I understand, they're going to come out with more lines. These are the first two that they've come up with. And at roughly. 15 bucks a pack, not a bad deal because of you get roughly uh, 14 and 14. So a little over a dollar a figure, which is not a bad price compared to some of the others. So the link to these are in the description below. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below as well. And until we meet again, may you always roll with advantage.